Hey what's up guys welcome back for another video and as I promised you all in the past videos today I am going to share with you all how to get the most out of your knuckle free kicks I know that this video took a while but trust me it is for a good reason I didn't want to rush this video because I was still learning how to score knuckle free kicks myself but now I actually think that I somewhat mastered knuckle free kicks and this is why I'm making this video now. So before I get into the actual tips, let me introduce the concept of free kicks on FIFA 23 really quick. So basically, there are three types of free kicks that are relevant on this game, namely the outside foot shot, the inside foot shot, and the knuckle free kick. However, EA somehow nerfed the outside foot shot free kicks in the last patch, which makes the timing of this video even more perfect. So after these nerfs, we are now pretty much left out with only two options. And these options are the inside foot shot free kick and the knuckle free kick. In my opinion, inside foot shots are more efficient than knuckles when the distance of the free kick is really short. However, knuckles are much better for long range free kicks and they also feel more satisfying to score. They'll try his luck here. So how about we move on to what actually matters when taking a knuckle free kick. First of all, in order to take a knuckle free kick, you must move this red cursor that you are seeing on the screen with your right stick and place it right under the ball. I also want to mention that the closer the cursor is to the center, the less height the ball will take. So if it's a very distant free kick, make sure to move down your cursor and place it just a little bit under the center so that the ball can take some height and reach the target. Next up, I noticed that I always get better results when the arrow is straight. This is because knuckle free kicks are very unpredictable and by making the arrow straight, you lower the chances of those crazy bends to happen. It is still possible to score knuckle free kicks when the arrow is slightly curved, but trust me, it is very random. So make sure to keep the arrow as straight as possible if you want your knuckle free kicks to be consistent. The next step is moving your camera with your left stick. This step is very important because it allows you to point out the arrow to where you want to shoot the ball. However, keep in mind that even if let's say you pointed out the arrow straight to the goalkeeper, the trajectory of the ball can still change because that's pretty much how knuckle free kicks operate. They are very unpredictable and that's why I always suggest to keep the arrow as straight as possible in order to minimize the curve on the ball. Regarding on where to aim the free kick, in my opinion, it really doesn't matter. This is because the knuckle free kick is the most powerful type of free kick, so even if you aim them straight at the goalkeeper, they can still go in. And next up, the power behind the free kick. From my personal experience, I noticed that very distant free kicks of 27 meters or higher require between 3 bars of power and just under 4 bars of power. Guys, notice how I said just under 4 bars of power. Because if you charge the power bar to the fullest, your player will pretty much skyrocket the ball and you don't want that to happen. Regarding short distance free kicks of 22 meters or under, 3 bars of power is perfect. And last but not least, green timing your free kick. It is not necessary but bear in mind that green timed free kicks have higher chances to go in because they tend to be more powerful than normal free kicks. If you don't know how to green time a free kick, you simply have to press the shoot button one more time as soon as your player hits the ball. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I think I covered everything that you need to know about knuckle free kicks. Let me know in the comment section if you have questions to ask and I will do my best to help you all. And on that note, I hope that this video was clear and helpful and I will see you in the next one.